The United States has many strategic interests in countries across the globe. From our Atlanta Bureau, Gail McCabe traveled throughout the year to many of these nations. Almost all of the contact that takes place between soldiers of the U.S. Army and military members of other nations is part of American foreign policy. It falls under a strategic umbrella that's known as Theater Security Cooperation, or TSC. In Latin America, TSC takes the form of an annual training event known as New Horizons, a U.S. military training mission focused on humanitarian assistance. Two clinics, three schools, um, and then we're also doing some work on some roads. Building stronger connections between armies with common goals is another aspect of TSC. Here in Pakistan, at the Land Forces Symposium, the acknowledged bond is terrorism. Ensuring the future is secure is the product of cooperation and collaboration. We've got to continue to set the conditions for uh, ensuring that we not only have access for our country, but we have a partnership uh, for the future that has common thoughts, common ideals, and a common uh, direction. The answer lies in part in joint training. Exercise Eager Light, a simulated command post exercise, is one of several military initiatives between the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and the United States. What's best about today is we're seeing the culmination of uh, three or four months worth of training. And, uh, we are delighted to be here and honored to be here today. The link between all of these initiatives is relationships. Even in the remoteness of Mongolia's Gobi Desert, American soldiers are hard at work, part of Exercise Tendon Mondial, a military medical readiness training exercise that sharpens their skills while helping others. There is a strategic goal that we can talk about what I, I term winning the peace, building the relationship. And essentially, this is the gist of it all. It's what theater security cooperation is all about. Hurt when I press on your back? 